Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular project series. My name is Anil and in this video we will see that how we can make a registration form and entry uh, for a new user in the database also. So guys, we will divide the registration part in the two videos, one for making the form and entering to the database and second we'll, uh, one for making the local storage and hide the login and registration function uh, uh, menus and just show here uh, username and all so that we can just visit the profile and all right so here you can see that the points of this video we will make a form we will get the data from the form to the ts file then we will make a service and add the new user all right so we will add this user inside our uh, db.json file uh, you know that how it's working in the previous video i just already told you the same thing will be uh, used the 90 percent uh, task will be similar to the add uh, new restaurant all right so we will just uh, send the post data and the new entry will be there and all all right so now let's start so guys we are just going to start with the form but we can save the time because we already have a form with the uh, add restaurant so we can just copy it and we will modify it in our uh, html file inside the registration so let's copy the form from here and paste it directly here All right so just write it here and i am just going to change this line and we can write here uh, register new user new user all right so after that what i'm just going to do uh, I'm just going to change the form name so my form name can be register or something like this right so like register with the small s all right so with the similar way we can also copy the code from the ts file also so just copy the code here from this but we cannot copy the complete code we can just copy some code like uh, import the form we can just copy it and uh, then we can just copy the code which is uh, just for uh, form grouping all right so we can just make it the form like here but there is some changes so first of all we have to just define the uh, group name which is it should be the form name and the same so that uh, let's make the uh, okay it will be like this or something i just made wrong I don't know what I just make a wrong but uh, just copy it again and uh, you can see that we have a registration a register is a new form name and there will be a field change also so we have a password uh, and we don't have any register address for the user because three fields are fair enough all right the same thing we can also do here so let's change the password with the address uh, address with the password all right so just make enter here password and it should be the password type all right so i think let's the form name will be the also password okay now everything is fair enough now let's see what you are got here now you can see that name email and this so we have a function name with a collect user so let let's make the name of collection and define in the ts file like this and in this form let's console dot one uh, this dot register dot value so that we can just get the form values so now let's see are we able to get so let's put the name like peter uh, peter the rate test dot com and password can be like one two three and something oh now you can see that we are able to get the data all right so now what we have to do the next step is just make a service function for that we have to go inside the resto.service so let's define a new service name but this url is not going to work here because we have the url with the name of uh, users and this is only the root url all right so just define a new url with the root url all right so we can use this root url for 
this you are lonely all right and the the remaining uh, url will be the same but we will just update the url for uh, root with the root url in the login and registration only all right so because this is not our api our api for the registration will be like this all right i hope you got it so now just uh, make a new function so let's see we can just put the new function is the register user something whatever you just want and here we will get the data and let's define the function and it will going to return this dot http dot post mm -mm, yeah post and let's define here this dot no yes this dot route plus use here uh, users all right and data will be as a second argument yeah perfect okay after just defining there we can use it inside the register component so let's import this service import something from resto service let's call the resto service here and register inside the constructor it can be a private type uh -oh. and resto can be the instance name and that's like so now let's uh, call this dot resto dot register user and uh, pass this data complete data here and now we can just simply use here like sub subscribe mm -mm, like this and let's get a variable name the result here in the parameter mm -mm. sometimes spells are really frustrate me Okay, so just write here console dot one and uh, let's check out the result. All right. So I hope everything should be fine, uh, but no, there is some problem. Uh, 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 let me check. Yeah, that is sometimes it's coming due to the server issue. So we can just uh, 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 restart it and let's check. Mm -hmm. yeah that's okay but still there is one more issue that is telling that we don't have the alert close functions okay so for a moment we can just close it after that we will just define the cl al close alert also because this is the related issue to it okay let's uh, just restart it just take a moment to restart okay let's start five four three two oh that's perfect all right so now let's try all right before that one more thing i just actually forgot that we have to just uh, import the ts file so let's import uh, db file and here let's make a new url also so like make users all right so that we can our new uh, register newer users here so this is like a database so we defined a new database here so let's make a new user like peter and peter at the rate test.com and we can enter password like one two three just hit it and uh, let's see what's happened with it uh i think this is uh, working perfectly the result is 201 in the api so let's check it here now you can see that oh nice our first user is registered here so now let's see that how we can just uh, show a pop-up here that user has been registered for that let's come back here and comment this code and just change your your mm, you you has been registered 
registered successfully or something like this right so okay uh, we one more thing we have to define the close alert function also so just define it uh, we can just uh, format it we don't need this one also all right so just define here close alert and uh, we can just write here this dot alert is false all right when we just uh, click on the close button it will be gonna close and when the new register result is successful then it will be true like this so now let's see what's going on so let's try with the new user like anil anil at the rate test.com password can be like uh, one two three four five or something let's see now you can see that you has been registered successfully if i'm just going to close it it's closed here new user is present inside the db All right so there is a two user so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and in the next video we will see that how we can use inside the complete section and how we hide the login and registration function also all right bye bye take care